When someone breaches part of a contract, the effect of the breach depends to a large extent on whether the contract is indivisible or divisible. Suppose that a contractor breaches a divisible contract to build 10 houses for a fixed price per house by failing to build half of them. The fact that the contract is divisible means that the contractor can still collect the contract price for the completed houses. A New Jersey court considered a controversy involving the divisibility of a contract for funeral services in the 2006 case Menorah Chapels at Milburn v. Needle. Emmanuel Needle's father-in-law, an Orthodox Jew, died on a Friday. That same day, Needle arranged for a Jewish funeral home, Menorah Chapels of Milburn, to conduct the funeral and related services. Because of the Sabbath, which happens from sunset on Friday to sunset on Saturday each week, the funeral was scheduled for Sunday. One of the services that Needle requested and Menorah Chapels promised to provide was the religious ritual of guarding or watching over the body of the deceased until the funeral. Despite the understanding that there would be watchers in the room at all times, the father-in-law's body was left alone during the Sabbath, contrary to his Orthodox Jewish faith. When Needle refused to pay for the funeral services, Menorah Chapels sued him for breach of contract in New Jersey State Court. Menorah Chapels sought full payment minus the cost of providing watchers during the Sabbath. Needle counterclaimed, similarly alleging breach of contract. Reasoning that the contract between the parties was divisible in nature, the trial court entered summary judgment for Menorah Chapels on the primary breach of contract claim and dismissed the counterclaim. Needle then appealed to the New Jersey Superior Court Appellate Division.